If this is uh, your first time here, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on uh, your notification and give us the thumbs up. This video uh, demonstrates how to set an address for an NX or an NJ uh, PLC in case uh, you would like to have either one of these uh, act as uh, a CJ or a CP1 uh, PLC for example. So first we're going to start our Sysmark Studio and I'm just going to pick a firmware here so it's just an NJ first create project so once uh, my program here is open I'm going to go to the data global variables and simply I'm going to create a variable so I'll say my tag for example and it's a bool so if uh, I wanted to uh, uh, like we said read this tag by address then I will have to go to this AT or attribute and simply it's percentage and uh, we can pick uh, any area we would like so for example if we want to use the W area I put W uh, zero, for example, the first register and the first bit of that register. So just as simple as that. Now for the NX1P, uh, we're going to see there is an extra step to do. So I'm going to change the device to NX1P. Yes. Now, as you see here, it's it's complaining uh, about it. It's not like it. Uh, the reason for that is simply because this uh, area is not enabled. And that's one of the differences between NJ and NX1P. So here we have the memory settings, and what we have to do now is because by default they're not enabled. So I just have to enable the area I would like to use. This case is the W area, and then this error will go away once I say check programs. There we go. So now it's uh, it's all good. So that's how you can uh, set up a tag in NJ or an X1P to act as a CJ or a CP1 uh, variable, for example. If you made it this far, make sure you hit uh, that subscribe button. Turn on uh, your notification and give us the thumbs up. And uh, again, thank you for watching.